All right, so both of these ornamental uh, cherries, we're thinking about at least one of them taking off this part. See, because that's the dead part. We would have to make one preliminary cut in here. This branch right here would tear out some foliage, so we'd have to do that first. This other one, probably doing the same thing. See where it's flared? And this guy is the grafted onto the rootstock, and this one's taking over. So we're thinking about doing just like that. Uh, and then seeing how it how it looks and how it lives. I've also suggested to Virginia to get mulch on cardboard back here at the very least. The other part of this job, this that, that part will probably take 15 minutes including cleanup because they're pretty small. The gate is the hardest thing about it. There's three Bradford pears. This one is uh, rivaling for the largest. There's another one about this size. But this is the worst union. We're talking about putting two Cobra cables in this one and the other one, two two-ton Cobras, two two-ton Cobras, and um, doing some end weight reduction out here over the house, uh, you know, focusing on large branches that are doubles, bifurcated branches, you know, getting it away from the house a little bit, but mainly just doing end weight reduction so that that does not tear out. Uh, this guy we're going to leave alone except for the Road sign, I'll open up visibility there a little bit. It's a lot smaller, no cobra necessity at this point in time, I don't think. And then finally, this guy here, uh, two more two-ton cobras going into it to uh, bolster its unions, as well as pruning away from the house. We can get rid of some of those. Here's some struggling hemlocks as well. These two have been topped and are looking pretty poor. I was wondering if, uh, maybe treating those as well as applying tree growth regulator to all uh, three of these Bradfords just to slow them down so we don't have any future failures. So thanks a lot for having me over Royce Clay Royce Tree Service.